What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you all of my tips and tricks and tools or whatever you call it on how I get my side by side super clean. Every time I go somewhere they're always like damn do you even ride that thing and I'm like oh yeah I do I just spend four hours cleaning it. So that's step number one actually you have to be willing to put in a lot of time but it helps to have good cleaner and this video is being helped out by super clean they supplied all the cleaner that we're going to use and i'll show you a couple other things you can do that you already have laying around your house if you have a phone cannon or if you don't have a phone cannon so stay tuned and i'll show you how i get it perfectly clean and this is a little bit before Almost forgot the after video. We got the SC1 on there. Looking nice and shiny. You can see reflection off of it. Some tire shine on there. So now I'm going to be showing you the tools that you might need. You might need some brushes or something like that. But really if you take care of it and do this right every time. You almost don't even have to wash it with your hands at all. But brushes and stuff like that help. So first thing we got our, well, pressure washer. Doesn't have to be a fancy pressure washer. This is a, a cheap pressure washer. You can not even have to have a pressure washer, but it helps. And if you do have one, it helps to get one of these spinny tips like that. That really helps to, to get stuck on dirt. And then it also helps to have a wand that doesn't have a long, Thing on the end whatever and then a foam can that's a good thing to have too then you can wash your cars with it because you don't want to use degreaser on your car it'll take off the the wax and you want the wax so if you've got all these things you're in good shape now I'm gonna show you what super clean sent to me to use in this video first thing floor absorbent who doesn't need that so I didn't know they had an aerosol can so that's pretty cool then we got the foaming degreaser. I like the foaming stuff because you can see where you have been. You know what I mean? And then this is probably more of a traditional degreaser, I would say. Uh, probably going to use this and this on the side by side and this on the wheels. So that is pretty cool. Also something worth mentioning is as soon as you get home from riding, if you spray it off with a water hose, and then clean it the next day, it'll come a lot cleaner, a lot faster. But I didn't do that for the purpose of this video. Also, if it doesn't look like that you have a yard sale going for razor parts, you're not doing it good. But to this point right here, it's been about an hour. It looks pretty good. There's no real dirt. Once you let it sit for a minute, you'll find some like up in there, you know, down in there. That you'll need to get out if you really want to. I mean, the seat's going to cover that, but... Like down in there, some will settle. That's why it takes so long. It's just constantly coming back. But for the most part, it's pretty good. I got all this stuff done. So now is the point where we are going to use some cleaner. And I'm gonna start with 
the degreaser and sometimes I'll use some car soap out of the foam cannon after that but next step is degreaser and you can I've got spray bottles but also some of these pressure washers if not all of them will have this soap tip that will automatically mix it and dispense it. I usually use that. I'll buy stuff, you know, in a five gallon pail. Right now I've just got some squirt bottles uh, from Super Clean. So we're gonna use that. All right, so I didn't show the rest of it because it's just spraying this on there and then spray it off. You really can't see that much detail. But now, foam cannon. And basically what I've put in here is laundry detergent and water. So now we're going to do that, let that sit. It does a pretty good job to get the last little bit off. This is my, usually my last step. Also, the thicker the mixture, more soap you put in it, the soapier the spray that comes out. That's why at first it comes out super soapy. I don't put a whole lot, I only put about that much in the bottom, but the more you put, the soapier it'll be. And then I usually let it sit for five to 10 minutes and then that'll be my last spray. I like to keep these clean. People neglect that. Uh, even scotch bright the exhaust every now and then. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's beat up, it's scratched up. I've hit trees, I've rolled it over once. Uh, I ain't afraid to drive it but I want it to look clean. So now once you've got it clean, you can use SE1 on the paint and the plastics. That does a really good job. If you wait until right before you go ride and then put that on, it seems to work best on not letting stuff stick. And then I use Black Magic Tire Wet for the tires because I want the tires to look good too. Um, some people don't care about that, I do. It's a big deal for me. It's a, it, it kills the look if the tires are dirty. Anyway, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you have any tips and tricks to add, comment them in the comment section below. Uh, follow me on TikTok. Uh, name is similar. I'll leave a bunch of links down below to Super Clean and the products I've used. And some of them will be at Amazon affiliate links. So make sure that you follow those. You can even buy a PlayStation if you want. Just it, it either no matter what you buy if you click it it helps whatever but anyway peace out i'll see you see you on the next one